This is the third and final video uh, for modeling screw threads. Um, this is the uh, male representation of the uh, thread that I'm going to use to uh, create the nut. And I'm going to start by um, extruding a cylinder with this curve right here. Turn this view on here so I can. There we go. I'll put that in ghosted so we can see it a little better. And then I think I'm going to bring the nut up and go ahead and create this last little bit here. So I'll do the same thing again. I'll extrude this curve right here. Turn that off. I'll uh, go ahead and union those together. And then I'm going to go ahead and difference the thread. Turn that off now, just take a quick peek at that. Okay, and I think what I'll do is put make a put that in rendered view so we get a better look at it. And there you can see we've got a, a nice start to this thread. We've got this diameter here. Uh, where the thread is uh, blending out into so we get a nice crisp start to the thread so there's ob um, there's obviously a lot less chance of damaging the start of the thread it's a stronger form right there at the beginning so I think we'll go ahead now and finish this off so I need to just Put that diameter through there. I'll put that in wireframe. And I think it's this one. I'm going to turn that on just to double check. That's it. So go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude that diameter. And I'm going to do both sides because I'm basically blowing a hole all the way through it. A solid difference this one from this one and there we go so I just need to chamfer that now so I'll turn that off well maybe not let's just go ahead solid. close to that so I'll go ahead and accept that and let's turn that off so I'll go ahead and do the same thing on these two and I'm going 
button. So I want a, ra a radius of 094 because I know that's what this is. So I do that edge. There we go. And now we come into this view right here. I'm going to turn on the form which I created, not that one. Oh, it's already on. Okay, no wonder. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll create a solid to difference from here with this shape. I think so. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to do it that way. All right. Um. I'll just stick it on any layer, it doesn't really matter. So let's just use this one. So, and then this one. go ahead and delete that because I don't need it anymore and there we go I'll just render that so that's the knot and that's basically it so that's how I model uh, threads what I'm going to do now I'm just going to put a cutting plane on there so you can see let's just go back into this view here so I'll go ahead and turn this on and I'm going to create a cutting plane so I'm just going to go ahead and type that so I'll clip in plane that's what I want so I'll hit enter and there you go So as you can see we've got clearance up this end to allow this nut to screw all the way on and we've got clearance at the bottom here. I'll just look there, there's no thread there look. And then you can see in this one here you can see where that thread is starting right there and because we've gone past that we've got uh, no problem there of threads binding or anything. We've got clearance there so that's basically it so I'll turn that one on which is basically the same thing turn it back off again so that's that that's the finished thing so uh, I'm gonna go ahead now I've already 3d printed this so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and show you what the finished item look like so here are the parts they just come off the 3d printer you can see the nice threads there. I'll go ahead and screw that on so you can see that it fits really nice and I even put a little detent on there you can hear it clicking as it winds up and as you can see it screws all the way on there this is now ready for testing.